Welcome, ladies and lords, booktubers and bloggers, to a little podcast I call Bamalot. <laughs> that is somewhat of what I'm talking about uh, today in a review for New Found Land, The Long Haul, by three authors, the two of which I knew about, the third I do not know. Um, but anyway, Austin Grossman, you may know. Uh, I know him as the twin brother to Lev Grossman, the author of one of my favorite series, The, the Magicians and, and all that. Uh, I think that's exactly the title of it, The Magicians and all that. So we've got Austin Grossman, we've got N Neil Stevenson, you may know, Cryptonomicon, uh, and many others. Um, um, pizza the hero protagonist one snow crash and sean stewart i did not know but anyway three authors that make up this audible original and i believe audio only book i i had a lot of fun it's read by a full cast so before i do my second audiobook review and not mention an actual narrator because that's how good i am that's what you come for every time i know so the full cast was absolutely amazing. They made me go, oh gosh, I gotta step up my game. And they're so much fun. The whole cast did a great job. The, uh, the actual voices for all the people involved in the story. So just before I go into anything else, I'm talking about the dang narrators. And they were amazing. I really enjoyed them. Lots of fun. Uh, the whole story which got me, this hooked me, wasn't as you might blow your mind, it wasn't because it's about long haul trucking. Um, it was because, and nothing against long haul trucking. I'm also, I'm sure long haul truckers get it, listen to lots of audiobooks, and I'm, I would love to do that. Uh, so, uh, but what, what got me, not only because it's Austin Grossman, who has written a couple of books that I'm interested in, but I've, of course, never read, they're on Mount To Be Read. And uh, Neil Stevenson, I have read, uh, though I can get into it later, but Snow Crash wasn't my favorite of all time. And, uh, but this one, it was, it's more because this deals with two worlds that are actually at war with each other. Kind of this like sci-fi futuristic jetpack world, and then this fantasy magical world. They're at war, they discover Earth, so we've got three worlds total dealing with each other. And if you know me, which almost no one does, um, <laughs> then you'll know that I love Heroes Die and that Acts of Cain universe by Matthew Woodring Stover. Uh, just that whole idea of, of worlds mixing and this just kind of reminded me of that. And so I couldn't resist. So uh, let's get into the actual story itself. Um, it, it's, it is, it's about these worlds kind of colliding at war with each other. Um, but there's this kind of secret society of bowler hat type wearing uh, people that are trying to essentially keep everything quiet about these other worlds. And they kind of believe that if they don't do this, then the whole everything's going to come crashing down and so in their minds they're doing the right thing by essentially i mean silencing people and silencing people if you know what i'm talking about if they need to and they obviously consider themselves noble and and all that so um the interesting thing is that these characters in in the actual story uh often if not always um probably always uh, have, I, I promise I, I promise I listened. They have these kind of other selves in the other worlds. And so, and that kind of allows some kind of crisscrossing. And, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, this is going to be spoiler free. This is just literally the first couple little bits. Um, and so the first part of the book is kind of about figuring out what this whole past, well past, what this whole thing is about. And I say past because it seems like the magical world is, it's it's like an olden days time type place, but it's not, it's literally kind of just what's happening on the other side of the veil, right? Of that, of that 
crossing over. So it's really interesting. Uh, there's, you know, assassins, there's people trying to kind of let the word out about this place. They think it's important. The first guy I was referencing, his name is, what is it? I had to write it down, Bucephalus Troy, great name. And he has this kind of podcast where, you know, he's trying to just tell everyone about these experiences he had where he kind of woke up and he was in the fantasy land. And so he's trying to tell everyone, he calls it Bamalot. It's not the actual name of it, but it's pretty awesome. And, <laughs> um, and it's, so it's, it's really fun. And the, that's probably my favorite character just cause he's so just like upbeat and, and into this whole thing. And of course the, the, the hat wearing goons, um, are, are, are kind of a pain in him at least, you know, if they can't, outright ax someone they'll they'll paint someone as a crazy person which is easy enough to do uh of course and so um that was really interesting so they've got this whole you know they're trying to not only kind of figure out what's going on but there are people that know about what's going on and 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 um others being stopped from uh disseminating this i'm trying not to go into too many details without spoiling uh too many things um see what the actual goodreads says uh sinister secret college and and that's that's the the bad guys in it and youtube blogger um who's on the the trail of a jetpack wearing secret agent who broke her heart um and then i mean it's just it's it's really fun um where i think the 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 issues come in so i want to make sure that that's clear that i i did like it i did enjoy it i had fun listening um, it, it, I just, I had some things that kind of pulled it back from uh, a great book. Uh, one of the things was it's kind of overproduced. I think that's the thing that some of these, when they have a full cast can get overproduced. And so in the, in the case of this, it's, you know, when they're, they're actually listening to these tapes, uh, from their kind of other selves in the other land and, it kind of gets like grainy and I get it. And it's, it's helpful for kind of establishing, okay, here's, who's talking. Um, especially when it's someone who's just essentially the clone of themselves or the other, the copy of the other person who's listening, it does kind of help you go, okay, that's <laughs> this person in this world. Here's the double that's in this world when they talk, um, in, and kind of review what they just learned. Um, so that does definitely help, but I think in an audio only, and I, I don't, I just some of that, it's hard to stick when you have multiple people with different names, but that are the clones. And so I think that was one of the other issues then that I had though, because um, the, the overproduction kind of just throws you off a little bit. And sometimes you're going, but wait, but why would they, and I don't want to spoil too much, but it, it, you know, what, why would they be doing that if, or saying that if, they're in this place and anyway there's just a couple moments where it just pulls you out of the book and you go okay yeah uh it is what it is um let's see uh other than that uh i think it was it was a lot of fun i liked it it was unique um i i i think the cast really is what made this kind of better than just an, an average extremely boring book but at the same time i'm kind of uh, I'm giving it a six out of 10, I think. I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, probably not quite a, a seven, but I think it's better than just an average five. It was, and I think it's the cast and the, the, the actual production that I know I criticized, but also that made it kind of a little better than, than normal, uh, than it maybe otherwise would be. So I had lots of fun. I think you will too. It is, I think it's currently in the Audible free download collection and again, I say free as in if you have a subscription, Audible uh, allows you to download a certain amount of books. It's kind of a pain to search and you have to almost go author by author to really find ones you want to. But hey, for a service that I just find a bunch of random books that I don't have to use credits on, it's great. And I can say again, six out of 10, I could say it's recommended uh, with some reservations here, obviously. I don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for visiting Shelf Centered. I did not start with a Shelf Centered intro, did I? So, thanks for coming by. Bye.